Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is Leaf Similar Trees. So consider all the leaves of a binary tree from left to right order. The values of those leaves form a leaf value sequence. So for example, in this binary tree, the leaf nodes are 6, 7, 4, 9 and 8. They're called leaf nodes because their left child and right child are null. We are given two binary trees and they are similar if the leaf value sequence is the same for both the trees. We have to return true if both the trees have the same leaf value sequence, else we have to return false. Let's take these examples and see how we can solve this question. Coming to the first example, so this is the first uh, binary tree and this is the second binary tree. The leaf nodes inside this are 6, 7, 4, 9, 8. And the leaf nodes inside the second tree are 6, 7, 4, 9, 8. As both of the trees are having the same leaf value sequence, we return true as the output. So in the second example, this is the first binary tree and this is the second binary tree. Let's calculate the leaf value sequence of this. It is 2, 3. And in this case, it is 3, 2. As both of them are not same, we return false as the output. Now let's see how we can solve this question. So we have to iterate through both the trees by using any tree traversal algorithm. Let's use DFS. From the root node, we first have to go to the bottommost uh, node until that node has no children. So we start with here. It has two children. So we go to the left part. It has two children. So we have go to the left part. Now this node does not have any children. So this is a leaf node. So this leaf node, I'm going to create a list called list1 and add it inside that. So 6 will be added. Now we go back and we check the right child of the root. So it has a left child. So it goes to the left. We check if this has any children. No. As this node doesn't have any children, that is a leaf node. So add it into the list. Now it goes back, checks the right child. This node does not have any children. So it is a leaf node. So add it. Now it goes all the way back until this node. And then we ha it has the right child. So explores it. Check if it has left. It has left. Check if this node has any children. No, it does not have any children as both are null. So add that node. So 9 will be added. Now it goes back here. It goes to its right child. Check if this node has any children. It doesn't have. So 8 will be. And we process all the nodes. Now the same process will happen for this tree. And we store the leaf nodes inside a list called list2. And now it will check both the list, list1 and list2 as both are same it will return true as the output. If both were not same, it would have returned false. And here in this case, root is 1, 2, 3. We go to the left child. We check if it has any children. No, they are not. So add 2 to the list 1. Now it go, goes back to the root again. Checks for the right child. Check if this node has any children. No. So add it to the list. Similarly, we have to do for list 2. In this case, both list 1 and list 2 are not equal. So we return false as the output. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Now this is the function given to us. We have to return a boolean value true or false. So that is the return type. And we are given the roots of the two binary trees, root1 and root2. Now let's declare the two or lists, list1 and list2. And similarly, I'll copy this and change list1 to list2. Now I will call the DFS function on the root1 and pass list1 to it so that we can get the leaf nodes of root 1 inside list 1 and similarly let's do the same for root 2 we'll pass root 2 and list 2 so that list 2 will have the leaf nodes of root 2 now let's write the dfs function it, it does not return anything so return type is void it takes a root so tree node root and it takes a list which contains leaves. So I named it list leaf values. So this roots leaf values will be added into this list. Now first I'm going to check if the current root is not equal to null. If it is equal to null, we'll directly return it. So we can directly return. So now we can process if root is not equal to null. We have to check if that node is a leaf node. So the criteria is that the leaf node left child and right child should be null. So if root dot left is equal to null and root dot right is equal to null then that is a leaf node so i'll add that leaf node into this list list dot add of the root it's important we have to do root dot value because we have to add the value inside the root so root dot val 
Now the list will contain root dot val which is an integer and this list is storing integers. Now we have to do the recursive DFS call on root dot left to move the search forward and pass the same list and similarly we have to do for root dot right. So I'll copy this and paste it and change root dot left to root dot right and this list remains the same and this will give us list 1 and th this will give us list 2. Now we have to check if list 1 and list 2 are same. If they are same, if list 1 dot equals list 2, if both are equal then we can return true, else we will return false. So if both are equal, it will directly return true and this won't be reached. If both are not equal, this will be skipped and false will be returned. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are being accepted. Let's submit the code and our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n plus m where n is the number of nodes inside tree 1 and m is the number of nodes inside tree 2 and the space complexity is also same. That's it guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.